In this second video, we will explore the environment and lighting possibilities in Maxwell Render. Create a new camera and place it to get a different view. Disable the close-up camera. Set the render resolution in the Cinema 4D render settings. Open the Maxwell Material Editor and import the provided backdrop.mxm material into your scene. Apply the material to the backdrop object by dragging it to the objects list. In the scene object, open the environment tab. Here you can adjust the environment settings. The main options are sky dome, physical sky, image based and none. Sky dome allows you to set a lighting dome encapsulating the scene. You can set the color and intensity of the dome light, set an output name and send to render. It is a nice and straightforward lighting setup. The rendering process will go on until the set render time or level of quality sampling level is reached. Of course you can stop the render anytime hitting the stop button. Now let's explore the image based lighting possibilities. IBL is a common technique that uses high dynamic range images to light 3D scenes and create reflections, refractions and backgrounds. Go to the high dynamic range image to be used as a background. You can use HDRI or MXI files. It is also possible to visualize the HDRI environment in the display. Hit render to let the image illuminate your scene. You will get the light intensity and colors that were captured in the HDR image. Now let's talk about emitters. The scene contains three simple planes that we are going to use as emitters. 
In real life, all light sources have their own surface and volume, so in Maxwell Render, light sources are defined as emitting materials applied to actual geometry. Apply a Maxwell material to a plane and select Emitter using the wizard. The wizard helps you to create materials step by step. Choose the color with the color picker and set the power in watts. Create emitters for the three planes. Temporarily disable the physical sky, choosing None in the environment settings. Enable multi-light and then render. Multi-light is an interesting feature. When enabled, Maxwell stores the contribution of each light separately, allowing you to adjust them with a slider while rendering or after the render has finished. It is a useful feature, allowing you to adjust your lighting setup and displaying any changes in real time, eliminating the need to re-render after each and every change. You can mute a light using the M button or hit the S button to display a light in solo mode. Now let's explore the physical sky capabilities. Select physical sky in the environment settings. Enable the sun to reproduce direct sun illumination. The sun orientation can be seen in the Cinema 4D viewport. Disable the emitters to see the contribution of the environment. You can control the atmospherical conditions like ozone, water thickness, turbidity and atmospheric scattering. You can specify a time setting the hour and date. You can set a location by choosing from a standard list of cities or by setting the longitude and latitude of a specific location. You can adjust the image exposure by changing the film sensitivity ISO and shutter speed during the rendering process or after the render has finished. Check the Maxwell Render Manual for an in-depth explanation of the various physical concepts and how you can use them in your scenes. What about animation? 
You can use Maxwell Render to render your animated sequences from Cinema 4D. Create a simple animation in Cinema 4D. Enable the Export Animation option and set the frame range in the Animation tab. Set an output name and path for the rendered frames. Hit Render. All frames are exported to separate MX S files and rendered in Maxwell Render. When rendering has finished, the rendered sequence can be found in your output path. You must set the rendering time per frame with the render time parameter or specify the desired sampling level in the Engine tab. 